Yeah, in life, your hardest competitor is always yourself. But I feel good about it because nobody's gonna be more hard on me than me. My name is Corey Juno. I'm 24 years old. I'm a skateboarder from San Diego, California. I got into skateboarding when I was seven years old. My brother got a skateboard for his birthday. And he was just my older brother, so I had to be just like him. Yeah, I really didn't know if it was gonna be become like a serious career for me or not. I kind of just took a chance when I was 14, began traveling to a bunch of different countries on my own and going from competition to competition. It's taught me a lot of valuable lessons that apply to like everyday life, never giving up pushing yourself, perseverance. And I think a good balance is my friends coming home after competitions or trips. We go to the beach, wind down. Having other things to balance, balance out skateboarding is, is nice. I know you as Christian, but your professional title is? My name's Dr. Christian Glasgow. I'm a sports psychologist for the last two decades. Do you see any similarities between like athletes that you work with that are in team sports versus kind of independent sports like surfing and skating? What's different with the team sports is like you have a team yeah. and you have trainers and you have to be part of a group and yeah. fit in. It's shared like accountability. And yeah, and there, there's, a, there's a shared goal to get there. Yeah. And then there's, there's sports that are, are a little bit different, like action sports like skate, surf, snow. And it's like the competition is within yourself. Yeah. It's you against you. Like you don't nail a trick and you keep going and you keep going and it's like you're letting yourself down. And yeah. you're within the team sport and you make a mistake, you let the team down in a way. Yeah. So that's a, that's a big difference between the two. In your experience, how do you propose athletes deal with the pressures of competition? You have to become comfortable in an uncomfortable environment. It comes down to wanting to be there, being happy with how you skate, yeah, regardless of the results or what happens in your run. But in something so subjective as skateboarding, per se, you could be the best skateboarder and get last in every single competition. Yeah, like people are so hung up on results. It's like, look at the progression. Where were you a year ago? Where are you now? What is the best advice between balancing having fun on a skateboard versus having to compete professionally on a skateboard? Within any sport, like you train, you wake up, you train, you train, you train. And the mundaneness and the monotony of it, eventually people can learn to really not like it. I tell people, look at yourself as a bank account. How many withdrawals are you making? versus deposits. And so to tell an athlete like, hey, don't train, go do something else that's fun, but don't fall out of love with your sport. And it's like going away, and once you're away from it, you automatically come back to it because that's the thing that you did since you were seven years old. Yeah, that's home for me. Yes. Skateboarding is home for me. Yeah. I've always felt like that. If I could give my younger self advice It'd be find something you love and hold on to it, cherish it, and yeah, trust yourself. 